watching HLN News Now. I'm Michael Lynch. There's so many facets to the George Zimmerman trial. One of them is what are fathers and sons around the country? What kind of conversations they have about this case? So we have the privilege of talking to three dads and their sons. These are my three sons segments, father and son trio. Uh, I had a chance to talk to them. Again, fascinating to hear different perspectives, all three different races, different backgrounds, white, African-American, Hispanic. And, and, you know, we had a chance to spend some time together at a local YMCA, and they had a chance, among other things, to watch themselves on television talking about this tough topic. This is the, the second installment, but we hearken back to the first one. I had a chance to ask each of them, basically, did you see yourself on television? What? talking about a difficult topic and what did you think a and that's the truth of this it's not easy to talk about a difficult trial like this and the racial undertones underneath it tough to talk about it with me and to their sons about it so let's start with adam and his son zach and their perspectives on this how is it to see you know to go watch yourself talk about a tough topic you know you're so you're like, I'm sure you're wondering, how did I come across? So what was your take? Do you think, okay, uh, I, I like what I had to say, or I'm like, uh, maybe I didn't say it the way I wanted to say it? I mean, well, it was it, my, I sent it to my father, and my father uh, goes, um, you need to show a little empathy there, son. I said, what do you mean? Well, you know, everyone's talking. I said, Dad, I did, but I think they edited it out. <laughs> and then I saw the other video where they had said that, uh, you know, I expressed it. This is a tragedy. I mean, this isn't a... It's a hard topic, and it's a horrible thing to happen. Someone's yelling two doors down from me, screaming, hollering, help, help, help. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right, what is your... A topic like this isn't easy to... It's a very throw. difficult topic. It's a tough topic. It's a tough topic to talk about with our sons. I've got sons. You know, you've got Zach here. Um, it's not like talking about basketball or soccer or some fun topic. You don't know what happened story. after the interview? Yeah, Did you guys so have some conversations after really that? Did like, hey Zach, what'd you think? Did you? Well, I had my other kids too that day, so mm -hmm. we talked a little bit. I mean, I think his expression to me was that, uh, that it was boring. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was a little boring. And there's the honesty, you know, of someone who's 11 or 12, Zach, basically saying, yeah, it's boring. He, well, he would rather talk about basketball or, or soccer. But sometimes as fathers, we have to have those more difficult conversations. We try and teach our kids uh, difficult lessons through a difficult case like this. So there's Adam and Zach. Also had a chance to talk to Eric and Cole, father and son, African-American, different perspective, but the same introspection of watching himself talk about this case. Let's listen. You saw yourselves? Yeah. What were, you, what were your thoughts? As in, and again, this isn't, we're not talking about the NBA finals here. We're talking about a pretty heavy topic. Yeah. I don't even want to talk NBA. <laughs> What'd you think? I guess. Um, so, honestly, I was a little concerned after we did the interviews. I, I, um, and I've listened to some of the sort of normal case coverage and hearing other people talk about it. I was a little concerned that I might be coming off as if I was completely sold on Zimmerman's guilt, right? So one of the things that um, Cole and I talk about, I talked about with my son Ethan, is the system, our legal system, being one that we rely on him being innocent and being presumed innocent, that is. And so, you know, trying to make sure that message come, came across, even to my, my kids and my stepson, is we rely on that system. I need to be innocent if I'm stepping in front of a court for the first time, I need that presumption, he needs that presumption. And so that was one of my initial reactions was, I hope I'm not coming across like I, you know, don't, don't believe he deserves a fair trial. I've got my own personal experiences about what it is to be a black man in this country. I bring that bias into what I see in the news and the news coverage. And when I talk to my stepson and my, my biological son, all of that is relevant for me. Did you, were you comfortable talking about, again, this is a, I was talking to my dad about this a little bit, and um, like I made, I made the comment to you earlier about I don't want to poison him or poison uh, my son with what what are my issues, right, or what were my dad's issues. So it, it's just sort of a balancing act of figuring out what's appropriate to say, what's appropriate to sort of um, make him aware of, and then what's what's responsible. Interesting, the commonalities, both Adam and Eric, introspective, 
both Adam and Eric hearing from a third generation, their father in all this. Now, the other gentleman I talked to, Luis and his son, Luis Jr., really different perspective from uh, him, almost uh, humorous in a way. Let's watch. You guys had a chance to see yourselves, right? Just yes. What'd you think, Dad? We'll start with you. Well, it was it was fun. It was interesting. I mean, we've never been on on TV, uh, Is that a so good thing or a bad thing? it was just fun to see us there. And uh, uh, you know, I, I had several people calling me and ask me if I was in trouble because I was, I was on CNN. He needs to be looking around and you know be smart as to as to you know how he's what what the ref, what his reflection is of his person to the to the world and also look at the other people how that other people might be perceiving him now like no i mean it's just an interview uh, i think it's going to continue for some time but that's that's all yeah even you know last month i i got a, i bought a, a, a new car even the guy from the dealership he called me and said hey is everything fine with you i mean i we saw you on tv but you know i don't know what was it about but it's cnn and I don't know, I guess he related that to being in trouble. <laughs> again, totally different perspective on that front. And again, go to our website, hlntv.com slash news now if you want to learn more about these dads and their sons and, and some of the lessons they're learning and, and teaching to their kids or at least trying to. And we'll check in with them uh, as this trial continues to play out.